shot? Yes. Tungsten on the drop shot. And I insert my weights, which is a video. On, there's a video on YouTube about that. I don't, you, you have to insert your tungsten weights. And if they don't have one. But you have to watch my video. There's only 5,000 5, people watch that video. It's a cool, I think it's the most important one out there for tungsten users. I, I, I mean, all the pros are doing it now. You take my shrink tube in, take shrink tube in, and, and you stretch it, and, and, you, and you put it in the weight, and, you, and before you pull all the way through, you cut the back end of it off, and it makes a perfect insert. And it lasts longer than any insert that anybody else uses. Shrink tubing. But you, you can, like most of the weights, you can, I can do two or three weights a minute if you get on a roll. But it lasts. I mean, I catch 100 fish sometimes on that. A shrink tube is really uh, good stuff. But it's tricky. I did a video on it. I did it real slow, and I showed people, because it's tricky. So what are you doing with the shrink tube one? Like if you get somebody a shrink tube and it's never done it and it wait, that would take them forever to figure it out. <laughs> okay, so let's draw it. Yeah, we'll draw it here. There's a video on it. YouTube. On YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll be, the, we'll be the artist this time. So what do you do? You stretch it, pull. So a drop shot. Okay, don't laugh. I'm not an artist here. You're going to draw it? Are you good? All right. Well, a drop shot, you don't, you don't need to insert. Oh, you well, don't. A bullet weight. Here, I'll show you. I can probably draw that. Here's a bullet there you weight. Go. Okay, I got five. So you have a, you have a, say, a bullet weight. It's falling a bullet weight, okay. And you have a bullet weight. I'll, I'll draw it underneath it so you can see it. And then you have the, say, the hole up here. And you got shrink tubing, which is like a, yep. which is about the size you use for that, which is a smaller size. And you take a lighter, I should show people, take a lighter and heat up about, you know, you take a piece of shrink tube, heat up the end of it. And then I always use my bare fingers, and my fingers are tough. You got it already? You'll burn your fingers pretty good, but it doesn't burn me bad. I, I've, I've had black stuff stuck to my thumb everywhere, and it doesn't burn bad with blisters. But I heat it up with a, just right and kind of turn it a little bit, so you heat both sides of the shrink tube and kind of melts it, and then you pull it. And then it elongates this piece, so it's skinny. Mm -hmm. So now you made it this long, and this part's still fat. So you take your skinny end, and you take a pair of scissors and cut the end of the shrink tube off at an angle where it's flattened from your finger, then that part you slide into the weight. I mean, I have to draw it. You slide the skinny part into the weight now, and you have to cut that flat part off because you can't get in the hole of the weight. That's why, you, but the part you stretch is skinny enough to go through there pretty easy. And, and then you get a hold of it on the other end with usually your fingers. Sometimes you can use pliers like, and, and don't turn it because it'll, it'll break. And you keep the pliers real straight and pull it. And you can start to pull the shrink tube into the weight. And before it gets into the, and then some ways are different where you have to heat up maybe a tiny bit of it to get it through. But most of the time, if you get the right shrink tubing, um, you can slide it all the way through the, the new stuff. That stuff that hasn't been shrunk yet, you can slide into the weight. And before you pull it all the way through, you cut the back end off. The part that'll be sticking out, like say, like the back of the weights, uh, the weights here or something. The weights here, I'll cut it off like. And uh, it's hard to show. Um, yeah, you, you pull it through. Yeah, the bottom of it. You want the bottom of it when the the top of like the the new parts to be like right there. You go back here and cut the shrink tubing off at the back. And then you pull it the rest of the way through. So the bottom. Of it, it actually when it goes to the bottom of the weight where the hole is, it actually flares out, mushrooms out, and it makes a perfect like spot for the knot to hit. And there's no impact. And then you, that part's done. You take the top part, and usually it's sticking out and it's skinny because you stretched it. It'll usually be kind of skinny still, and I cut it off like right there, and you heat that up, and it'll kind of it'll bring it down and kind of make it fatter again. And it'll press it into the weight, and it never slips out. It's like the, it's the best insert there is, but it's hard to do. So that's why they don't that's why you don't see them in weights because it's too hard to do. I showed it to a lot of companies, and it's just too much for them. So they use like a, a straight piece of plastic, and it's not there. I pull those out because I don't like those. My mine's so much better. So it's you're not, just building a liner for bullet weight. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, lead, lead weights, you don't need to do it. It's tungsten, you have to do it. Like, I had arguments with true tungsten while I was with them. They are giving me weights, but they had to insert them because it was, like, I always give the, a glass on a, uh, a tile table or, or, you know, you drop a glass, it's going to shatter, and that's kind of how fluorocarbon is. It's, you know, you got glass, and then you got tungsten, the hardest material in the world, one of them, one of the top three or so, hitting each other, it's going to shatter the line. Because fluorocarbon's brittle. So you're protecting but mono fray and braid will break. And it, they all break. You can't use, you can't, it, it all does the same thing on all lines, but especially fluorocarbon. So, uh, I mean, there's been a lot of heartbreaks out there because of that. Tons. I mean, I've, I know of a bunch of them. Tournaments have been cost because of that. Guys have lost tournaments, big tournaments, classics because of that. Is it just for the heavier weights? All of them. All of them.
Because when you set the hook on a little way, the fish has it pinched in his mouth. You know, in his mouth, it's, yeah, you got to yank that weight out. Who knows how fast it's going when you set the hook. So then you bring that little eighth ounce weight down on top of that knot real hard with no insert. It, it'll cause breakoffs too. So it eliminates that completely. Like that, that little bit of that little layer of shrink tubing eliminates it 100%. No frays. Like your braid, the braid will fray too. Bad. And it eliminates the braid fray too. <clears throat> shrink tube. I did a video on it. It's on YouTube. Yeah, I don't need it. Lead, lead seems to be fine. I've never had issues with lead. It's one of the softer materials. Under Iron Martin or under yeah, you probably find it. You probably f you find it. Yeah, I'd, if you go on my website, if you, you probably it's probably linked to my website still. I, I haven't looked at it in a while, but you could probably find it under Aaron Martin's under video. Maybe <clears throat> insert weight. You know, Aaron Martin's will probably come up, or uh, tungsten weights inserted. It, it should have me on there because I don't yeah. think there's another video on there. <clears throat> I know there's only like 4,000. I checked it like a month ago, two months ago. I was just curious, and there's only like 4,000 people have seen it. So there's a lot of people that still don't know about it. <clears throat>